my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back to my kitchen. Today's video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Helix Sleep are the makers of premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to your needs and come delivered right to your door. We've had our Helix Sleep mattress now for about a year and we are getting great sleep. Helix Sleep makes it super easy to find a mattress that suits your needs. You just take the Helix Sleep quiz like I did, enter your preferences and needs, including sleep position. I happen to be a side sleeper. I like a medium to firm mattress. And if you're like me and share a bed, the sleep quiz will take that into account and find the perfect compromise for the both of you. The quiz matched us with the Helix Sleep Dusk Lux and we love it. The top is nice and squishy, yet firm enough to support our backs. We are getting excellent sleep. And especially if you compare this to our last mattress we inherited, which served us really well. Thanks so much, old mattress, but it really needed to be replaced. Besides getting great sleep, another thing I really like about Helix Sleep mattresses is they come delivered right to your doorstep in a cardboard box rolled up so it's really easy to maneuver up narrow flights of stairs and you can install and set it up yourself. Both our kiddos also sleep on Helix Sleep mattresses and they are getting great sleep as well. And if you live in the US, shipping is free and again, it comes right to your doorstep. Helix also offers a 100 night sleep trial. If you're not happy with your mattress, they will pick it up and give you a full refund. So if you'd like to try Helix Sleep for yourself, click the link down below or head over to helixsleep.com slash mmade to see how you can receive up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress and two free pillows. Big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video and for their continued support. So today I'm going to be making a recipe that many of you have requested. Most recently, Ilse requested this on Facebook. Thank you so much for getting in touch with me. And it's a TikTok recipe for creamy, crunchy bubble potatoes. So I have made bubble potatoes before, but the previous recipe is a true bubble. It self inflates. It's pretty magical. It's based on a French technique. I'll put a link down below to that recipe in case you missed it. But today's is more of a kind of mashed potato tater tot, but it looks scrum the liamtious. It is inspired by a TikTok video, Ms. She and Mr. He, and I will put a link down below to the original. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we need to do are boiled some potatoes. We're going to be using large russet potatoes. We're going to attempt that hack that you've probably seen where they score the circumference of the potato and then squeeze it out of its jacket. I've actually never done it before, so I went ahead and tried it. I took two large russet potatoes, scored them first, placed them in some boiling water, and boiled them. The instruction said for 30 minutes, but it's more like 45 minutes if you have really large potatoes. And we are going to shock our potatoes into the cold water so that we can peel them. And it's already sliding out. Let's see if we can get it completely out of its jacket. You can just squeeze it. Sure enough, holy smokes, it totally works. Well, at least on that side it did. Kind of. Yeah, it kind of worked. Some of it crumbled in my hand. But saved you some peeling. That's kind of great. So the recipe says to use two potatoes, but it included gram measurement, which I appreciate because if I used two potatoes, I would have used twice as much weight. We only need 300 grams and my potatoes are quite large. So give thanks for including measurements. So in the original video, they use a garlic press to press the potatoes. I'm going to be using a potato ricer, which essentially is a giant garlic press and it will take a lot less time than using a tiny, tiny garlic press. This gadget is perfect for getting perfectly mushed potatoes. So you place the plunger down, place your potatoes in there, and look at that. Oh yeah. So nice, so nice. There we go. To our hot potatoes, we're going to add two tablespoons of glutinous rice flour. This is a little bit different than regular rice flour. It's made with glutinous rice or sweet sticky rice. It's not actually sweet. It has a sticky texture, so it is different than regular rice flour. So we're going to add that and one tablespoon of potato starch. And then we're also going to add for seasoning plenty of black pepper. Good heaping quarter teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my hands here to form this into a dough and there's no raw egg in this so we could even taste this for seasoning. Let's see if it's salty enough. 
No, I think it needs more salt. Here's our little ball of dough and we're going to split in half and roll it into a snake. It's not really forming a snake like they do in the video. Maybe my potato doesn't have quite as much starch. I don't know. And then we're going to take the tines of a fork and press down on them. Kind of like a gnocchi, but kind of not. Creating a little puff like that. 330 degrees. We're going to go ahead and carefully place these into the oil. And gently fry these for about five minutes. So make sure they don't stick to the bottom. Potatoes are already cooked. So we don't have to really worry about that. We do want to cook the starches a bit. Oh, look how they're floating up top. They're looking so cute already. Look, cute. We're gonna drain them and then we're gonna fry them one more time to get them nice and crispy. Whenever frying and cooking, we don't want to overcrowd our pan because it will reduce the temperature, in this case of the oil, significantly so that we'll lose all that heat. So. Don't overcrowd your pan or your pot. Okay, so these ones I think are about right. Just a little bit of a golden color on them. Look how cute. So when you place things into oil, try to place them in gently and kind of close to the oil. I know that it's sort of counterintuitive because the oil is very hot, but that will reduce the splashing. And then use a chopstick after you place it just to give them a little nudge little scunch so that they don't stick to the bottom of the pot. Now we're done with our first fry and I've turned up the heat so that the oil is now at about 350. And this is just to get them golden brown. And look at them, they're getting all golden. And they are puffing up, that's so cool. Look at that, that is beautiful. All right, set those aside. And the second fry really doesn't take much time at all. Look at that, gorgeous. Before, after. Grrr. Wow, this recipe is working so far. Look how your TikTok. If you haven't seen my other TikTok recipe tests, I'll put a link down below to the playlist. <laughs> I'm gonna sprinkle that with some salt and shake on some paprika. Alrighty lovelies, these look phenomenal. Check them out. Look how stinking cute they look. So this recipe is called creamy crunchy bubble potatoes and surprisingly enough, I got mine to puff up. Let's give this a taste. Here we go. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Those are good. Slightly crunchy on the outside, like thinly crunchy, but inside it's super smooth and mashed potato-y, but even creamier than mashed potatoes. I was expecting kind of a tater tot thing because these look kind of like tater tots, but tater tots have much more of a tooth or bite to them, while these are just kind of super smooth and creamy, creamier than mashed potatoes. Here, let me show you the inside. See how cream it is? Butterly, silky, smooth. Must have something to do with the added starches in there. Mmm. Get some paper towels. Let's try one that's a little bit crunchier. Here we go. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm, perfectly seasoned. I love the addition of the black pepper. I do have to say they do feel a little bit oily or greasy. And maybe it's because these are mashed potatoes and they absorb some more oil, but they do feel oily. They taste phenomenal. And now I'm gonna taste them with a little bit of ketchup because ketchup, potatoes. Here's a crunchier one. Let's dip it in some ketchup. Oh yes.
delicious. So, so good. If you like potatoes, especially deep fried potatoes, I think you'll definitely like this. I've never had deep fried potatoes with this type of texture before. And you think at this point I've tried so many different potatoes, but never quite like this. And they're delicious. All right, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching. And big thanks to Helix Sleep for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try Helix Sleep for yourself, click the link down below or head over to helixsleep.com slash emmymade to see how you can receive up to $200 off your Helix Sleep mattress and two free pillows. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Check out my website. I'll include a printable version of this recipe. And yeah, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. I smell like a burger joint. Now I really want a burger. Burger, burger.